This playthrough is rated E10+. Plus. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volmer back here with another episode of Sly 4 Thieves in Time. In the last episode, we did a bit of collecting. Unless you skipped that episode, then uh, we got uh, uh, our good friend, his outfit back together. So now he can be a thief among thieves. But before we do that, let me just show a little thing. Just to, um, for those who didn't watch that or didn't care. Uh, it kind of uh, I can show you like the me completing the uh, turning Japanese uh, as it shows 100% there. I'm actually I'm actually kind of surprised I'm almost done with the uh, Go West Young Raccoon. I'll to, but I'll do that next episode. The other is not so much because I missed. I just decided not to collect the treasures or mess with it. So I have to go through and um, I'll have to see. I'll have to maybe try and look up like secrets early so I can try to like not have to worry about grinding those out later. Um, so there's that, and obviously the the question mark level is where we uh, um, do the final little bit of the confrontation or whatever. Spoilers ahead. No, um, it's pretty obvious. Um, also, I don't think did I ever show playing tennis. Let me show you this really quick. Just uh, I don't think I sh showed this last time. So. Yes. Oh, I messed up the uh, serve. Well, now it's a. Uh, his turn. But yeah, just uh, just standard table tennis. So I guess if you're from China, you probably love this. Um, and I think if you're a second player, I think you play as Bentley. So yeah, it's just just simple table tennis. I don't know why you'd want to play this for too long. Well, I guess if you're playing with it, I don't think there's any reason. I don't think you get anything from winning the the game. You just uh, it's just to say, hey, I. Uh, beat it so I don't know can I let me just do return to where hide out so we can just skip out of that because I think you have to I think you have to I think it goes to 10 or something like that and I think despite the load times being ridiculous I think uh, reloading the hideout is a little bit faster to do that um, also I think with uh, enough secrets on lot I showed I can show something else but I think I might wait till the end of the game to show Risk the secrets, but now since the last level, since I uh, gained so much treasure, well, not so much, but a decent amount of treasure, we can uh, get close to upgrading the rest of our guys' stuff. So, sprint while charging, paraglider dive attack, silent sprint, and then when we get the rest of the treasures, we can unlock that. And I think, I don't know if I actually got the treasure that gives me more treasure, because there's like one of the treasures we can get from the safe gives you like an extra bit of treasure from collecting stuff so man I have not bought any of Bentley stuff at all or I think I, yeah much of Murray so I'm gonna have to definitely grind out some money later for that I because I even I think getting all the treasure is not gonna give me that much money anyway let, let's just go ahead and just buy Carmelita stuff and finish hers off so yay all right anyway let's uh get back to the plot now and uh uh get to the next section because now we we have to play as a delivery boy for uh paradox and uh and the elephant lady i know i should remember her name but that was a week ago i would have i've easily forgotten such things out of out of sight out of mind they say but now we have to be a delivery boy to uh to get close to uh so that way we can uh get to the next step of our plan and now that our friend is now a thief again he can help out with his own abilities and powers. Yes. It'll be glorious. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. I'm waiting for the load screen to uh, pop out. So, all right, let's go to the next uh, objective. But yeah, I, <laughs> I was like, I was trying to think of something to say during the load, load screen. I was like, um, things. We talk about things. Yeah, I'm probably gonna ignore uh, picking people's pockets for the rest of the rest of the game because money grind I'll either wait to get all the treasures from the previous levels which will help definitely give us a, de a decent amount of money but I think I've sh well I don't know if I've shown every single treasure you can get from stealing from people but it's not that big of a deal so all right loading the job okay Celine. we know that decibel has the panther somewhere in that tower 
trying to go through the palace itself would be impossible. Luckily, this carpet shop is going to save us the trouble. Ah, yes. Honest Hassan's carpets. He owns many, many shops, but he is not so honest. Trust me. In fact, we used to run a flying carpet scam where he would pretend to be... Kind of pressed for time here. Fine. Please continue. So, according to my diagrams, the shop is connected to the tower. There's a vent system on the side of the building. All you have to do is crawl through the vents, and it will lead you straight into the shop. From there, you can make your way through the shop's interior to the tower. <laughs> you make it sound so easy. I would like to see you crawl through vents when you are my age. Talk to you inside the shop. Good luck! Yeah, unfortunately, Salim is only one of those guys when he hits a certain age that you kind of have to stop him from telling stories, otherwise they... They'll just keep going on, and on, and on, and on. Anyway, uh, let's see, I guess we got to... Are we going through the... Crawly crawl? Yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I forgot we were trying to go after the panther. I was trying to remember... I was actually trying to recall the where we were in the plot. And it's not like the plot's forgettable, it's just... I'm getting more absent-minded at my age, and I'm not even that old. I think I really need to start uh, buckling down and um, trying to get my mind focused again and not just when recording these but just in general but uh that's that's a story or a matter for another day just to explain away my my absent-mindedness perhaps that means i'm a super genius I because most most uh, smart people are like that next first i grab the rope then i press the r2 button to climb up or down like lightning Ah, so that he his ability is climbing up really fast. So there we go. That's uh, so that is one way to get past uh, some of the other. I was just saying there's. I have to keep uh, I have to keep abreast of uh, um, secrets during these during these things because less less time for me to uh, find that stuff off screen. So. Oh, okay. So I have to hold on. Let me let the. All right, shoot up. Yeah, and then it, then it speeds. Oops. I guess I bypassed that part. Yeah, he just goes like really fast up the up the rope. Even though Sly being able to slow down time and climb the rope is just effective. Wait, this rope doesn't match my blueprints? It must have been renovated recently. Give me a minute to figure this out. Oh, by Aladdin's beard. Do you not know that rule number 37 in the Thieves' Handbook is expect the unexpected? Foresee the unforeseen. Predict the unpredictable. Keep your turban on. My sonar readings show an old passageway through a cave system beneath the floor. Let's see. Massive payload, angle of incident, relative humidity divided by two. Got it. Salim, if we could drop that pallet of carpet to the corner, it should slash a hole in the floor straight through to the caverns below. We? It seems that I will be doing all the work. How about we just talk when you reach the passageway? You can tell Salim really just wanted to retire in comfort. <laughs> well, anyway. Alright, time to get up. I guess we're just trying to... I don't know if you can even... Uh... Probably not. Oh well. <laughs> Did the Salim? Okay, I was about to say, did Salim have the paraglide? Sort of. He has a carpet, which is just as cool. Actually, I, I, I am a fan of, like, old Arabic, like, mythology and stories and stuff like that. Um, not, not so much modern, uh, modern uh, Middle Eastern stories, but, you know, maybe it's just because there's not much mystery to them. I think the history of them can be interesting, but, um, yeah, just... Eh, that's more personal preference stuff, but anyway. Yeah, no genies or flying carpets or you know, a tales of Sinbad or anything like that. Oh, if only I had a magic lamp! I would wish for this job to be over. Whoa. Would it be Whoa. voiced by Robin Williams? Giant Diablo Scorpion. Nasty. You probably just want to avoid them, but destroying those nasty mouths will clear them out. Keep moving forward, and you should reach the base of the tower. 
Uh, what was I going to say? I mean, I kind of wish we could do that because then bring back Robin Williams from the grave, you know. Although, with, uh, well, with what happened to him, I don't know if we'd want to just because we might, that would be putting him in more pain than, uh, maybe than we realize. So, well, it's a nice slot anyway. Anywho, I guess we're going to have to climb through that. I thought I destroyed all the scorpion mounts. Eh, yeah, scorpions. I don't have to deal with them where I live. At least not specifically, though it's probably because of more modernization of houses and stuff like that. But oh, no, I know where my fo grand folks my used to... I know where my grand folks used to live. They, uh... uh well, they've all, they've all passed on, rest in peace. Um... There, there was this short possibility of scorpions getting in the house back in the countryside where they lived in, but it didn't happen too often. And there's usually pretty easy tricks to uh, to reduce the possibility of uh, getting them sneaking into your house and stuff like that. Sorry, I was talking. Now I missed that whole bit of dialogue, so whoops. Sorry. You know, speaking of scorpions, kind of makes me want to, like, find a way to, like, play the old, uh, there was a Wii game that was actually pretty interesting at the time, uh, despite what it was, it was actually a pretty, I don't know, it's a greatly designed game, but it was one of those, like, Wii games that was actually, like, a small treasure, treasure trove in the, in the lands of, uh, in the lands of the Wii shovelware. God, the Wii was such a bad system for shovelware. Like, it was all over the place. There was there was the Nintendo games that were good, for sure. But my god, that system had so many crappy, crappy games trying to just uh, make money off the market that the Wii was so popular. You should look it up if you want to know about, like, all those, like, uh, Wii games. Man, that's probably why I don't have so many, too many Wii games. Although, yeah, some of the games I probably should have bought and I never did. I was just trying to see if there were any secrets. I know there are some, and I probably already missed one or two. I've noticed most of the most of the uh, job levels have one to two secrets. Anything more is. Of course, climbing, my favorite. I don't see an access point, but that lever looks worth investigating. And be careful not to stir up the scorpion nests in here. Yeah, might as well. I love messing with nature. Take this, you punks. Yeah, I think I've... Actually, I don't remember seeing anything obvious in the first area, so I doubt I... I doubt I missed the, uh... secret that was in here. I'm not, and no, I'm not trying... I'm not trying to... I'm just trying to find the secret. I'm not trying to actually get money. I mean, why not? I'll grind later, but I'm not trying to waste my whole time with that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's any, uh... Uh, secrets in this room. So let's just get rid of the scorpion hills that I don't have to actually get rid of. I've noticed most of the uh, secrets I've uh, found have been usually hidden behind uh, some type of like... Uh, whoops. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, hidden behind some barrel uh, boxes. So that's why I've been... Uh... Oh, I have to... Okay, I'm just having to flip it back and forth. Yeah. There you go. Whee. Well, that was that was almost pointless. Yeah, sorry if I'm just looking around, just double checking my anything coming up. Whee. Whee. There it is. I was like, we're gonna have to sneak across this thing right here. I would much rather be riding a camel with three humps. Yeah, okay, we just have to not get caught by the camel with three humps, huh? I don't think I didn't see anything in there. Okay. Oh, he's got the Yep, he's got the breaking breaking chains. Something break the chain, break the chain. Oh. Just a good look around. Yep, nothing, nothing to indicate to uh, a uh, slime oh, mask or anything like that. Uh oh! A snake! 
trying to remember when I first saw the first... Oh, there it is. It's in there. Uh, I'm trying to remember the first time I saw the uh, a snake in a... Uh, like in a basket trope. I think it was. I think it was Indiana Jones and the Raider, or, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Man, that's such a good movie. I miss movies like that. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't be talking. I shouldn't be... I shouldn't be acting like that. Being old, old and curmudgeon-y. Now is it? Now is his attack considered to be silent? I guess because they didn't they didn't charge at oops. They didn't charge at oh does he send him into like a oh he sends him into a uh, magic lamp when by sealing them or something like that. Phenomenal phenomenal cosmic powers itty bitty living space. Hey why would you try to bite me during? Good thing they this game has a uh, um, invincibility spheres at least. That'd be kind of annoying otherwise. I'm so used to the old, old games, like old Mega Man, where you'd have a... Where you'd have, like, uh... Wait, what do you say again? Oh, maybe I have to slide downwards. And for a second, I thought he said something about, like, what to do next. I'm like, nah, I can probably figure it out. Sir, there... I thought I saw some people over there. Oops, hold on. Can I actually jump to the... Oh, no, that's that one dude. Okay, never mind. I was trying to see what that other that other guard was doing. Oh, whoops. I... Oh, the game's just like, no, you shouldn't have done that. We're just going to reset you and not mess with that. So, I guess thanks for that game? I guess I appreciate, appreciate that mentality. Yeah, it looks like you have another, another sleeping guard. They sleep all day long. They sleep while they sing this song. At least this lucky fellow is getting some rest. I was out. Oh, okay. I guess. I oh, know because that would. Okay, I almost jumped down for a second. I think it was like maybe there's a mystery there. I'm like, nope. That would, that would just make me reset. So we're not gonna. <laughs> we won't be doing such silly things now, will we? No, sir. We not this time anyway. Oh, looks like the tongue goes back. Now watch out for those dangerous snakes. They gotta be, they gotta be cobras though, because I think they have the, they have the uh, the hood or whatever you want to call it. I think that's what they call it. I think it's just called a snake hood. Then again, I'm not. I've said before, I'm not a master of the the snake arts. You can find out how snake-like I could be. Just gotta go up and down, back and forth, working down my muscles. Oops, I didn't actually mean to do that. You're almost there. there, one more. I was about to say, I was, I was thinking that maybe we were getting pretty pretty close to the top here. Get not too way, far, the, not further. too far from now. I guess this level must only have a a, a uh, slime mask, unless I missed it in a, another level or whatever. Unless you can um, do something with those. Wait, do I have to climb up? Oh. Oh, um, for some reason the game's not doing the uh, voices here. I've seen this type of thing once before on a mission in Prague. Prague. Oh yeah, from the um, second game. But this is on a whole new level. Mind control. My mind control by music. It's genius. Or well, evil genius. No, we just need to disable the device before freeing him. We have to proceed carefully, or we risk turning his brain into jelly. Oh, uh, sort of like baby ganoush and hummus, hummus, or oh, but fruity. Ew. Exactly. Just get me closer to that thing so, uh, so I can turn it off. I didn't expect the voice to not work, so I don't know. I don't... That might be my system. Because, yeah, I don't know if it... I don't think it popped up in the recording either, but I did not hear them talk, so... I think my I think my console may have not picked it up. Like maybe it didn't load properly or something like that. So, sorry about that. 
because uh, yeah, he didn't. The I was waiting for the sound to go off and nothing was happening, or the voices. I was like, what? what's going on here? Yeah, I wonder if uh, I mean, like I said, my console's kind of old, so maybe it's not picking up certain things that that it should be. I'm not seeing any mass, so okay, let's uh, let's hack this thing and save our friend from the uh, the mind control. But yeah, nice reference to uh, the second game. I, th I still I still go by the second game being my favorite out of the f out of the four games. Um, but yeah, I I mean I do I do like the the small bit of reference slash fan service that the that the guys who made this um, game did. I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of one of those people that doesn't mind fan service as long as it's uh as long as it's um. Ah. Anyway. Yeah, I didn't stay on target there. Let's try it again with. Oh. Yeah, I knew about that, but I for some reason didn't uh, didn't do it. Yeah, just follow the follow the yellow big. I was gonna say yellow big road for some reason. I was like, what big? Well, like the pens? Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on, no, no. I am trying to stay on target, but I'm not Bentley. Not a real boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, can I get to? Oh, okay, I'm falling. There we go. Yay! Da da da! Flash and light. We even lot the hypnosis. But yeah, I like the. I don't mind fan service or callbacks as long as it's kind of subtle. Not when they go wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know, like some games or. A uh, movie people tend to do like poorly, yeah. But, uh, but yeah, nice, nice reference. My brother, are you all right? Oh, oh my head! Where am I? You have been imprisoned, hypnotized, and compelled to create forgeries by that evil elephant. But I have freed you from her mesmerizing music with, you know, some assistance. That's nice. I'm hungry. Did you bring me anything to eat? Perhaps some nice roasted scorpion tails? Maybe some camel milk? Amazing! I climb halfway to the stars to rescue you, and you expect camel milk? Why do I bother? Well, he's got some odd friends, but uh, anyway, Salim has saved his friend. Quote unquote, I guess. Um, so you know, it's on to the, on to the next job. But I think uh, with time as it is, I think we're gonna hold off on doing any more of, um, doing any more quests. I mean, I could probably start one, but I don't know how fast I'd be able to finish it. That one took me longer than I expected for some weird reason. I think it's because I was kind of messing around a bit, um, as well as the stuff I did at the beginning of the thing. So. I think we're gonna do some. Uh, I'm gonna see how much I can, how much bottles I can collect, um, by going back in time. I mean, I guess I could have just ended the episode there, but I want to kind of utilize the, the full time. So, Penelope once disguised herself as the Black Baron in the third game. Ah, good times. I think the third game is still considered. I'll probably end up doing like an official, list by the, by the end of the game, like what my. Since they haven't, um, since as far as I know, they haven't, they don't have plans for a fifth Sly, and they're still, I don't even know if the movie's still in the works because they've ta they talked about the movie and showed the trailers for the Sly movie. Like, I mean, unless the movie came out and I wasn't aware of it, it's not like I'm actively, you know, getting notifications on certain movies or anything. But as far as I know, the movie's still being worked on. I don't think it's been canceled. Then again, with times as they are, it's hard to say. But that'd be the only. Maybe they were waiting to release the movie at a good time, like maybe to promote something else, just to get people in the seats, you know. Of course, it's not guaranteed that the uh, uh, movie will bring in like a new crowd or anything like that. Uh, just look at the Ratchet and Clank movie, which I thought the movie was okay, which is weird. You would think that the Ratchet and Clank games are almost designed to be almost like Saturday morning cartoon type of mentality. So you think of like a maybe a movie would kind of work, but for whatever reason, people just uh, didn't really um, uh, kind of gravitate towards it for whatever reason. 
I don't know why. I mean, it was basically just a retelling of the first game based off the um, the PS4 game, which I I played. I didn't record for whatever reason. I, I d decided not to do that. I don't know why, um, but I did play through it. And yeah, it's basically just the first game again, just polished and everything. Um, yeah, for whatever reason that... Uh, oh yeah, we're going to have to be using this a lot for uh, to get the treasures on this map, but I'll do that at a later date. I'm not going to not gonna do that now. I'm gonna see if I can try to get to the get all the bottles in the um, treasure chest by the end of the uh... oh yeah that little line there is because of the whole um, para, paraglide um, uh, dive bomb thing that we've we unlocked from before. I guess I could have showed it. I wonder if I can I wonder if there has to be a guy on screen probably um, yeah I'll, I might just make it a long episode just to uh, get the rest of the bottles, so less time having to do that later. Because I'll still have to go through this level and get all the uh, secrets and the um, uh, treasures. So, But most of that will probably be me cutting out to successful runs like I did in the previous episode. Just so I can show you all the uh, um, yeah, let's see if I can show it off. Yeah, If you press the attack button, you which is weird, it doesn't like finish him off, it just kind of does damage to him, but that's it, so... Looks like the bottle here must be... Under? No? Oh, here. Here we go. Oh, or... Is it above? Uh, get up there. Oh, here's a bouncy thing. Oh, there it is, I was like, where the heck is this? What the heck is going on here? But, uh... What was it talking about the Ratchet and Clank movie? Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know why. It just didn't... Like, it wasn't a bad movie. It's just... I don't know. It just didn't really... Uh, kind of, uh... I don't know. Make itself point out. Or maybe it's because it was compared to other movies. Or maybe it was just considered okay. But yeah, you think with the game based off a Saturday more cartoon mentality it would it would it'd be a shoe in for a for a um, movie adaptation and just do basically something similar to like one of the games but yeah I guess it just goes to show you that even though if you, you have a solid concept it doesn't guarantee success but then again there's movies that are successful and you're like how is that successful you know um, where is this thing again Oh, it's on. Okay, it's on top of that. Um, for a second, I was like, where, where is this thing? I don't, oh, I have to springboard, gotcha. Boing. Boing. Okay, there's that one. Alright, oh, there's a couple behind me. Yeah, I should probably get those. Yeah, like a perfect example of, a, of movies like getting, um, like making money that aren't very good, or like the Transformers movies. I'm sorry, I just, I, I do not understand how those things made movies money. Although, well, I have a pretty obvious reason, but I'm not going to go into that either. But let's just say uh, when people say they like, like if you like the first one for just being kind of like silly action, I can, I can be kind of like, oh, okay, whatever, that's fine. But the rest of them, are you sure? Are we are we talking about are we talking about these movies based off like an old, you know, cartoon about talking robots? You know, I don't know. I think it's just because of some of the crude humor and that's just resort to baseless just uh, action. At least Peter Cullen was in them. If if Peter if Peter Cullen had voiced Optimus Prime in them, I don't, I don't know if I would even tolerate the first movie. Although I heard a. Uh, I heard they were trying to like redo a cartoon like I think it was like Rooster Teeth of like Red vs. Blue fame try to do a cartoon based off that and they didn't even get Peter Cullen to voice Optimus Prime at least by the time it's recording he's still alive and still voice acting if you do a Transformers thing you better gosh darn well get Peter Cullen to do vo Optimus Prime there's no ifs, ands, or buts I don't care how you pay him his money and you, you get him a job you, 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 you respect the man uh, I think you're supposed to... I might have to be on the train to get this bottle, maybe. 
Doesn't the train like run along like every once in a while? I could have swore it did. Now I'll have to wait and see if I can get it to activate. Oh, now it comes. No, no. I'll do oh, did I? Oh no, I'm just. I wonder if I can. Nah, that nah, took too long. I'll just. I'll have to jump on at a different point. Okay, I need to get up there. I wonder if I'm... What the... What the heck was that? Game? That was weird. Okay, so there's that one. Only four more to go. Let's see if I can get up here. Ah, that's... I wonder if I can jump... Ah, there we go. Fortunately, now I have to wait for the... Uh... Well, let's uh, see if we can grab some bottles before the train comes back around again. It might be a hot minute. This these are pretty close. Oop. All right. Where's the other one again? That was a little bit forward. Yeah, we're gonna miss the. Uh, I think it's too late to get to the train then, because it's about to come along again. But I think I, I think I missed it. Yeah, I think I think I just passed too. Here it comes. No. Whew. Almost didn't make it. Phew. What a ride. Is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, we had to switch to the prison. Whoops. Wrong outfit. Or wrong. wrong we had to switch to the. We had to switch to the. Oh yeah, I never. I never made like. In a previous episode, I talked about how I was just gonna call each of the outfits based off like. Maybe someone famous in a movie or something like that. But I never said what I called the jailbird one. I don't know. Uh... Oh, there's a secret. Oh, let's grab that. Say, save me some time doing that later. Actually, shouldn't this place have a treasure as well? Usually these secret areas have like... Um, have like a treasure we can grab, but I'm not seeing anything. I guess the point was to get a, get a secret. Okay, well, that's fine with me, I guess. Um... Uh... That was it. Oh, no, we... That's right, I was gonna get that, but then I, uh... Went back to get the, uh... A bottle or whatever. Um, uh, trying to think of a famous prisoner. I mean, there is the... There is the show, The Prisoner, but I forgot what the main character's name in that was. I call him the Man from Uncle outfit. No. Um, I'll do... Maybe in between episodes, I'll have to see if I can... Recall the... The guy from The Prisoner. What his actual name was. If anyone even remembers, uh, remember that show. It's a good, for the most part, that was a pretty good bit, a bit of uh, sci-fi writing back in the day. But yeah, most people don't remember it. It is definitely, it's, I mean, the show was obviously before, well, I guess you can't say obviously, I've never, have I ever actually said what my actual age was on any of these recordings ever? I don't know, that's like, I forgot how many episodes of, or how many recordings I've done for this channel over the years it's quite a few quite a few uh, I think it's like over a thousand or something like that it's quite a few but uh but yeah I couldn't tell it I I have I'm not one of those people that go, goes over his old videos again just for just to find out which which stories I've told that would be insane and we get the mugshots coin actually that might be the treasure that gives you more money like a little bit extra increase for treasure but anyway, with that out of the way, and Salim having done his job, we're one step closer to uh, um, getting to the Panther and getting to the next step of the uh, journey. But of course, next episode, we'll, uh, uh, we'll, in this level, we'll tackle getting the rest of the secrets as well as uh, all the treasure. And if we have some time, then we'll do some of the plot, but I doubt we will. But anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.